when I came to know the Lord, when I experienced allowing Him to be Lord of my life and when He took over my heart. And He told me, Susan, your sins, which are scarlet, I've washed them and they're whiter than snow. What a wonderful feeling to be clean. So Lord, how do I walk in this? How do I walk out this new cleanliness? And I have found that every time I had a question, there was something in the word that would answer it. And he said, just love me, the Lord your God, with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. He said, I am love. And he said, put on Jesus. And that sounded great. I wasn't really sure what put on Jesus meant or how he was going to do that. But I heard a lot about love. So I thought, okay, Lord. What is love? And anybody who's been to a wedding knows that God went to the trouble to give us a definition of love in his word. Love is patient. Love is kind and not jealous. Love does not brag. It's not arrogant. Love does not act unbecomingly. And it doesn't seek its own. Love is not easily provoked. And love doesn't keep an account of wrongs. It doesn't rejoice in unrighteousness. It rejoices in truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Wow, what a great definition. And it worked great until I came in contact with another human being. <laughs> and I realized that every human being was also a sinner like me. And other than being washed by Jesus, they were red, and they were scarlet, and they were broken, and they irritated me. <laughs> and I lived with a lot of the most irritating ones within four walls of the confines of my own home. I knew their sins well, and they knew my sins well. How? Were we going to love one another? I wanted to walk in love. And yet, I began to find myself really getting irritated. And I found that I had just some abusive speech to say to them. Abusive speech is when I get to tell you exactly what I think about your sin. And I also had some slander. Slander is when I get to tell you about what she did that really irritated me. And so out of a heart that was supposed to love God with all of it, this was what was flowing. Then I found that I could put on some malice. Malice is hoping for the worst thing possible to happen to somebody. So out of a mind that is supposed to be loving God was coming evil. And I found that the more that I lived with people, the more frustrating that it got. And I could get really angry. <laughs> and even feel wrapped. <laughs> and all of a sudden, instead of being dressed in Jesus, I was ready for war and bring it on. <laughs> because here was the deal. I didn't really feel that my anger was unjustified. If they hadn't sinned against me, I wouldn't feel this way. If they hadn't been unkind, I would be kind. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's really not my fault. <laughs> there was a church back in Greece, in Colossae, that <coughs> Paul talked to. These were Christians. And he came to them and he said, you know what? This is the, the Holy Spirit through Paul. Remember I said every answer is in the word. And he said, you have got to put aside your anger. You know why? Because love bears all. We had to put aside, I had to put aside my wrath. Because love is kind. Love believes all. I couldn't walk in malice. Love hopes. It wants the best for somebody not concentrating on the worst. I had to take off my anger, and I had to put aside my abusive speech, because love endures. And I needed to put aside my slander, because love rejoices in truth, not in the worst thing to say. All right, 
so I'm back to white, but how do I put on Jesus? Well, there's more. Paul goes on to tell the Colossians to put on love, and thankfully he tells us what that looks like. He told them to put on compassion and patience because love is patient. They needed to put on kindness. Love is not jealous. It's not arrogant. It's kind. Needed to put on compassion because love does not act unbecomingly. And needed to put on humility because love is does not seek its own. And love doesn't brag. Love is humble. Needed to put on the aspect, the, the practice of bearing with one another. Because love is not easily provoked. Another way to talk about bearing with one another that is in scripture, it's called long suffering. And you will not know if you have long suffering until you've been long bothered. <laughs> but if you can be long bothered and still be loving, you will be bearing with one another. And then you needed to put on forgiveness because love does not keep an account of wrong. It forgives. You know, another thing that there are shoes described in scripture as the gospel of peace. That is Jesus' forgiveness to us. A forgiveness not deserved, a forgiveness not earned, and a forgiveness that has nothing to do with us. Our love can forgive others that don't deserve it and have never asked for it. So, how often do you have to do this? The putting off and the putting on. Well, let me ask you, y'all look fabulous. Did y'all get dressed about a month ago so you could get ready to show up? You got up this morning and you put off your pajamas and you put on your clothes. Thought about what you were gonna wear. Chose your clothes carefully. It is a day-by-day -day choice. And with love, it can be an hour-by-hour -hour choice. It can be a moment-by-moment -moment choice. Sometimes, as we're walking and walking in Jesus and all of a sudden, we find ourselves really angry. And we, we really kind of wish somebody would get exactly what they deserve. <laughs> and you know what this is? This is what hypocrisy looks like. Yeah. I can be proud of my compassion and my kindness. And I forgave somebody else last week, so this one I'm going to hang on to for just a little bit more. <laughs> but this is a continual process of putting off and putting off. You know, we live with people in a home, and we sometimes think, you know, they are the people we love the most, and they are the people we know the best. And sometimes those can be very difficult relationships. It was easy as a young girl to assume that once I found my soulmate, my best friend, the pitter to the pattern of my heart, <laughs> that it would be so much easier to love. And it was, and it was also easier to put every one of those things on. Mm. Because when we live right with each other, all of it falls away. Not only do we know each other's hearts very, very well, we know each other's sins very, very well. So it is a moment by moment choice that we put this away because love covers a multitude of sins. I've heard it said that love is not a feeling, and I don't know that I agree with that. I feel love, but love is not only a feeling. Love is an action. Love is a choice. Love is a response. Love is a reaction. So come to Jesus and put on love. It is the best clothing you will ever own. 
Father God, I thank you for every one of your daughters here today. I thank you that you love us with a love indescribable, a reckless love that runs after us, a love we don't deserve, a love we could never earn. I ask you, Lord, to put that love into our hearts, that we would love the sinners you give us to love with that same kind of love. Through your power and through your, your clothing, that we would put you on. I pray that in the name of Jesus. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Mr. Jesus.